we cannot put the silkworm outside because it's too hot. And also the bird eat them. Oh, oh right. We need to keep the worm inside that place and we bring the leaf for them. So oh. these are the mulberry bushes that uh, where the leaves are produced in order for the silkworms to uh, eat. Yeah. And then the silkworms are kept, uh, can't be left out because of the birds would eat them. Yeah. So we're going to go into a hut where we, we see the them. Inside okay. Place and we bring the leaf for them. Okay. And they are still small, so we need to chalk the leaf to the small leaves like the baby food. Uh, okay. okay. When they go up to the big worm, we don't need to chalk the leaf. Okay. And what's a life? Span. How long will yeah. one of these silk For one live? basket, they need to eat two kilograms of the leaf per day. Okay. Wow. For one worm, they eat two leaves. Okay. Per day. For them, they eat the leaf and they grow up to the big worm like this. Okay. So from here until here, they need to eat four times a day. Four times. And more bigger, just only one time. Okay. When they're full grown, okay. And when they eat full, they will turn the color to the yellow. Okay. You take them to put in the basket like this. <laughs> and there's the eggs. Ah, that's where silk. Now they they starting. They spinning. They they spin from mouth yeah. around the body. When they spin already, they stay inside the cocoon. Looks like they stay inside. And when we get the cocoon like this, eighty percent of the cocoon we need to kill them to make the silk. And we keep 20 percent for recycle. Mm -hmm. Okay, you let them turn to a moth. Yeah. Because why, why we need to kill? Because if we don't kill, when the worm inside the cocoon turn to the moth, mm -hmm. and the moth fly out, so the cocoon spoil, cannot oh, use. Okay. So right, so we must to kill before the worm turn to the moth. 23 days old, okay. and they are the big early. We don't need to chop them. We just put the whole leaf, right? And they eat only one time a day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so these ones worms aren't quite ready for the cocoon yet. Yeah, not yet, because they need to wait two day more. The okay. day, the day after tomorrow, these will they will turn the color. Okay. And they'll be how old? Twenty five days. Twenty five days. This one. Yes. This one twenty three. Twenty three. Okay. So in two so days, then then you put them into one they of those. They have twenty five days. Listen, sir. The worm inside, but already dead. Oh, okay. You check, check it, check. Okay. So the worm is inside, and and all these are like that. Yeah. Okay, please take a look the cocoon together. Okay, Aaron. Huh? He's gonna feel the cocoon open. Okay, so from one cocoon we can get two layers of the silk. This is the outside layer we call raw silk. Okay. You can take 100 meter, the straight line. 100 meter from one cocoon? From one. And inside, fine silk, 300 meter. Inside the worm? Fine silk, this one. Okay, a bit more compact, yeah. But you see is the it, outside that, layer? The and this is the, no, it's the inside. Oh, the I worm see. inside, when we spin okay. all the silk, I you see. can see the inside. This is still part of the cocoon, yeah. the, that, that shell. So okay. from one cocoon, we can get 400 meter. Raw silk and fine silk, we can make the same product, but different the quality. Yes. Fine silk is the best quality, more expensive. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and this is the spinning process. <laughs> All right, so after we kill the worm inside the cocoon other day, we bring two over here and we put in the hot water to make the strong silk. Okay. And we use the brush for collect all the cocoon in here, join together to get one straight like this. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Feel it. Wow. Very strong. Yeah. Wow. And then yeah. separate together. If we do like this, we can spin all the cocoon in here. Okay. So now, see, spinning the outside layer, raw silk. Now I can see them. Oh, it's ever so nice. It's like the spider web. Yes, of the fine silk. Yeah. 
There's the pine silk up there. And from here to here. And this is the natural color of the seal in Cambodia, the yellow color. Okay. Different color from another country like China, India, Japan, Thailand, and Vietnam. And over there is the white color. Uh -huh. But Cambodia is the yellow one. So there, they're unraveling the cocoon after the, after the caterpillar had spun the cocoon. What they do here now is they unravel it and unravel numerous threads together to make the silk thread. The natural is burning off, so you need to bleach to make soft. Oh, okay. So this is the raw silk after bleaching, and this is the fine silk. You feel the fine one like slide here. Oh, right. And after bleach, we dye the color to make the different color. Okay. okay. And so this is dying, a dyeing station, or what are they doing? Uh, they're only the spool. Okay. Then bring the spool to over here. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh man, look at that. Then the spools are put on this rack. Can you? And then I, I don't know if my camera can pick them up. But there's many blue strands that come together over there. Over the year, where it's weaved on the loop. The loop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The weaving machine? Yeah. yeah. Set up in the loop and then weaving it to The chemical dyes. Oh. Okay. Natural and chemical. The natural dye, we use the natural color. It's like the curry powder. You can get orange. Okay. And this is the same curry powder, but we flush the chlorine. You can get orange, but lighter. Okay. And this is the banana leaf, green. Right. Those are all the It's the kind of the tree, luck. Okay. Red color. And this is the coconuts, brown. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is the natural dye, but we need to do long time. They'll be boiling together with the silk for eight hours. Eight to get the color. hours, wow. Another process might come. The boiling. Right. The chemical more faster. But the natural dye more expensive. Right. It will take long time, and the natural is the best quality. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is bleach. Okay. Is this where you yeah. bleach this it? This is the natural, and this is the after bleaching. This is dye. You feel the natural rock. What are they doing here now? Dye, dye, dye color. And what color is this? Black or brown? Kind of a brown? Oh, yeah. Okay. This is the color they're doing. This seems like brown. Brown, silverish. Oh, okay. So this is after... Uh, before, before cleaning. Before cleaning. And, the after cleaning. and then this is after cleaning. And they're taking, what are the bits of brown that they pick out? The dirty ones, like this. Oh, yes. Okay. Just all the odd parts. Okay. Uh, so on this particular government farm, everything is done by hand. Big spool that we roll it over there, we bring to set up in blue. It helps keep employment. It's all hand done. And this is the scarf. You look the pattern, this is the jasmine flower design. Jasmine flower design. Okay. So these are all hand run looms. You can see the shuttle going back and forth. The plan created the pattern. Yeah. This is the raw silk, what? Yeah, raw silk. Oh, raw silk, okay. Okay, okay. But another one I cannot do. Just uh, all one color. No pattern, and you can see she's got the shuttle. That looks like a very complex pattern. This is the tie-dye, and this one, seven months finished. Seven months to do this. So make the tie-dye, four months, and one piece, 
three months because the one piece 15 meter. 15 meters long. This one for use to put in the big ball. Okay. And our craft, we have seal painting. This is the seal painting. See this. Yes, the colors. Yeah. Traditional colors. Yeah. Mondays at the top, Sundays at the bottom. And that, and that would indicate what clothes to wear. Yeah.